All right, I came to ABS body. I'm gonna drop off the bumper and my carbon fiber lip. Uh, damn, I fucking hate seeing that shit. But yeah, I just came to drop it off. Um, hopefully, I can record a little, a little bit of the cars that they behind because I know they behind some nice ass cars. But yeah, finally gonna get it painted. Hopefully, hopefully they can do something about the little two broken clips that it has. But if not, then yeah, fuck it. But yeah, with that, what's up? How's it going? Hope it's going good. And that was an M3, I didn't even record it. Uh, I'll catch up with you right now. Our ass car is here, man. Uh, did it from 412 right here, too. Got a nice ass M3. We got E88s right here. Nice ass one. I just need to come back with the little um, tow hook cap that I had. Because <clears throat> I took it off and I put it on mine because it's missing. But uh, yeah, I'll be back soon. Um, but for now, peace out. Hopefully I see the bumper in a couple weeks, maybe like two, three. Yeah, I'll catch up with you another day. Peace out. Bro, look at this. Boy, this one has a E90 M3 now. This shit looks sick as fuck. Oh my god. That shit sounds godly. That shit look more black, but now that I see it in person, that color is nice. It looks pretty uh, blue, very dark blue. In that C90? sick as Shout out to the dude that owns that car. He's the one that helped me out, spec out my rims. Oh fuck, that shit looks so sick. Single turbo M54. That shit looks so tight. Uh, shout out to dudes at, at fucking um at Precision Dynamics. They're fucking chill as fuck. Especially Adam. I feel like that fool always helps me out. Yeah, I got it done. It was leaking from the radiator, which is fucking dumb because I just replaced it. I don't know how many months ago, but I practically just replaced it. I should never have, even have to replace it. But <laughs> because that happened, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna get a a CSF upgraded inner. I mean radiator because it's all aluminum or all metal, I believe. That way, I don't have any more leaks or issues with that, and I won't have to diagnose it for that. Uh, but yeah, that's cool. Now I have that little bit of peace of mind, you know? Oh, but my fucking intercooler is fucking dangling, which is fucking sick as fuck. I forgot to say this too, but I got my, oh shit. I got my Bowman's, in, Bowman's exhaust um, wired. Now, I, don't, I got it wired to the battery, so now I don't have to worry about um fucking having that shit on the, on the charging port, because that shit was annoying as fuck. Because I don't want to charge my phone, and then I have to have the exhaust on, you get me? But, yeah, now I don't have to deal with that. Now I just click the button, not even worry about shit. But yeah, shit's sick as fuck. It gives me that little peace of mind. But yeah, I'll catch you on the next clip, whatever it is. Peace out. Bro, check this out. Can you see that, bro? Well, I already heard the rims. That fucking sucks. I feel like it's, it's not that bad, but I feel like it just ruins everything. I mean, I just uh, did the final adjustments on it right now. I'm gonna go take it and uh, get an alignment. <coughs> Looks pretty good on the rear. Hopefully, this side settles a bit. Yeah, I'm kind of butthurt. Not gonna lie. It just sucks. You know? But now I don't know. We gotta be way more careful for sure. But I'm gonna try to polish. I'm gonna try to sand it down, polish it, make it look brand new. It should. It should go good. But um, yeah. I'm about to head to Best Tire Shop. Made it to Best Tire Shop in Fontana. 
the only dude I trust right now, but because Pomona Loki be sketch as fuck. I don't trust people in Pomona Loki, especially on Holt, bruh. But catch you when I'm inside getting an alignment. Sheesh! That shit runs a lot in the front, though. I'm not gonna lie. Right there, look. The future JDM build for me. S13 Sylvia. Oh, that shit's so clean. Right hand drive. I'll probably drift this thing low key. If I had one. That shit's sick though. That shit looks way better up in there for some reason. We got a fucking caddy on slicks. I'm about to rob those. Bro, I really fucking love this car. That shit's sick. Right seatless and shit. Big ass pipes. All right, all done with the alignment. Now I'm just gonna head back home. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's um. Sean, you know what the fuck it's called? It's not the Irwin Bell Speedway. It's um. What the fuck is it called? I don't even know, honestly. It's called something. But big ass stadium, racetrack. Auto Club Speedway, there we go. And then this is like the only street that has fucking the little finish line race stripes and shit. It's cool though. Seems like a chill last spot. Maybe someone could host an event there one day. That'd be pretty tight. Bro, give me on slaps, bro. Bro, don't even get me started with Georgia. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say peace out no more. I was just gonna jump to the next clip. This is a OEM style. Same exact thing. Direct bolt on. The only difference is it's all aluminum. So, no more leaks. You see the welds right there. Aluminum welds. So, I'm not gonna have any more leaks. But yeah, I'm hell excited. I'm about to put it on. I'm not gonna bore you with the process. So, I'm just gonna try to slap it on. Show you when it's on there. So, yeah. Check back with you and hopefully it's on there. All right, it's later on in the day. Um, what have I done so far? Uh, I've been cutting hair meanwhile, so I'm kind of taking my sweet ass time. But I already took off the radiator. All I need to do is put this one on, then um, bleed the system and everything, and I'll be done. So I'll get back to you when I put it on for real. It's probably gonna be dark by that time, but yeah, I'll catch up with you then. I finished putting the radiator on yesterday. I didn't record nothing because I just wanted to get that shit done. <clears throat> but no leak so far. Don't want to jinx it. Knock on aluminum. But there it is. Looks good though. It looks clean. It just sucks. It has a whole logo and you can't even see it. But yeah. Hopefully, pray to God, there's no leaks or nothing. Um, but yeah, looks good. Kind of a, a bitch install. Just kind of happens sometimes, but yeah, got it done. I think I'm about to replace these holes. All right, what's going on? About to install all the, look, the gloss black grills on the car. I've been delaying this for a minute, but I think it's time to do it. Compared to these, these are all chipped up now. I'm gonna get the new front bumper pretty soon, I hope. But fuck, it, I just wanna slap these on because they look a hundred times better. Yes, sir. I'll be right back. Bro, they were the long ones. So, since these are all busted up, I got some of this leftover super wrap spray paint. I'm just gonna, real quick, just just touch them up just for now and then find some real old ones. Yeah, I'm hella butter. Let me know if you want some E92 ones. Go off that. Julio's Tomei. It looks like a Tomei. Sunday morning, cars and coffee. We about to. It's not even a cars and coffee. We about to go. Oh, I just let my window down. Ah, fuck it. We about to go to a Supra van in Rancho and the CSF like headquarters, I believe. But yeah, we'll catch you on the freeway or wherever we decide to take. Catch you later. Good morning, by the way.
They do look way better in person, honestly. These ones, huh? Yeah. Oh, look, this one has a fucking. Don't look that Tommy? Is that Tommy? I don't know. What? Well, T's look really nice on um, on, on fucking GTRs. I was thinking about it, bro. I don't know what rims I would put on a Super if I got one. I think, honestly, I think I would put some TVs, bro. They look pretty sick. Oh, look, this one's fucking nice, bro. This is the one I would get, bro. See, I was wanting with these rims, too. Yeah, because they look nice. Like, stock rims like that. Yeah, that's like a whole super squad. That's a GoPro. This hood is sick as fuck. This bumper is sick as fuck too. Yeah, the same body kit I would do. Nothing too crazy. But look, like these type of style rims, kind of like tees, you know? Like they look really clean, bro. Well, all you need to do to this car is add some rims and lower it. Tees on the Super. This is what I would do to my Got a big ass tire. If I still kept my, my, my beam. It's like chocolate. Wrapped it. Nice. Bro, this color is actually really nice on here. That the black and then carbon? Yeah, black, carbon, and then that chalk gray. Like, look at the, the style of rim, bro. The boots. Really looks sick. Bro, yeah. look, this was BBS's. Damn, bro, this was a fucking baller, fool. <laughs> Two jerseys, similar trouble. These always look so fucking crazy, bro. On the inside right here. I've never seen this interior on these. It's probably really rare, huh? You know, the super stitching like that? If they're OEM, they're probably really rare. Like a various, various kit or some shit. And these rims are pretty sick, though. They look nice. See, look, I think I like the whole, like, T style. Look, he got those uh, paint match, the little fenders. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Look at his rim, bro. You hear that? Bro, this shit takes forever to zoom in. Oh, fuck that. Oh, look, this one's a big turbo. I don't know how much he's pushing. Probably like 800 or something. Imagine it's a built engine. This one looks so clean. Launch edition. 1022. Never mind. I want number one. I want number one. Yeah? Like BBS tire? This color is pretty nice too. Oh, red. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, look at that one. The Fast and Furious. Oh, the Fast and Furious body kit. I mean, fucking livery. God, this shit looks pretty clean. It looks like a like a Scooby Doo vehicle. <laughs> I'm about to steal a radiator, bro. <laughs> radiator. 